the Houthi militias committing widespread violations, most notably in the besieged ties, Al Jaw, Ma'rib, and the western coast, a week before the UN sponsored truce ends. A human rights organization in Al Jaw said that the militia committed 20 violations against civilians only in July. They included the killing and injury of 18 people, arbitrary arrests, and damage to three properties due to mines planted by the Houthi militia. It added that the Houthis are committing almost daily violations in the region, amid the truce that was announced in early April. It further called on the UN, the international community, and all local and international rights groups to condemn the brutal Houthi crimes, act to stop them, and hold the perpetrators to account. In Taiz, the militia renewed their shelling of residential neighborhoods in the city a day after a child was killed and 11 others were injured in a Houthi shelling. An official said that the international community and the UN envoy were seeking to extend the humanitarian truce to claim personal accomplishments while disregarding the suffering of the people who are the victims of the ugliest crimes committed by a terrorist group, according to his statement. He accused the Houthis of war crimes, starving the people, and laying siege to regions. He also grieved how the truce was implemented solely by the government, while the Houthis not only rejected the deal, but defied the world, international community, and UN Security Council by refusing to positively approach the UN envoy's proposals to ensure the success of the truce. The officials warned that the lack of real deterrent measures against the Houthis will render the extension of the truce for a second time as mere ink on paper, seeing as the militia is continuing to violate the truce.